Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is 7 a.m. here, Eastern Standard Time. Welcome to the Daily Shift. I'm here Monday through Friday. The last couple of weeks, just Tuesday through Friday. But the goal is Monday through Friday between the 7 a.m. and 7.30 hour Eastern Standard Time. Um, well, we're here with the Daily Shift. I'm Rochelle Monique, and we're here to take the Word of God, apply our lives to it, and become all that God has created us to be. Just a little shift at a time. So, <clears throat> good morning. Happy Tuesday. I hope this uh, broadcast meets you well, wherever you are. Yes, eventually I'm going to go back to video, y'all. But let me tell you, can I just give y'all a transparency and life update? <sighs> I'm not ready to face the public <laughs> at 7 a.m. here lately. So I have to change some things or whatever. But listen, um, that's neither here nor there. I'm here uh, today really thinking about Isaiah 59 and 19. And the second part of that says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the Lord, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. And so if we, uh, in your healing process, remember that God has a standard. And I'm not just talking about, the quality of living, the quality of your integrity, but the Lord will lift up the standard, the standard of his word, the standard of his might. He will lift up everything that needs to be surrounding you against the enemy. Um, he comes in to steal, to kill, and destroy. He comes in like a flood to overwhelm you, to knock you off of your square so that you are disoriented and discombobulated. And so when he attacks, that you may um, sometimes uh, allow him in or not realize that, you know, that he's sneaking an enemy in your camp or trying to sow small seeds of discord or bitterness or hatred that he attacks you when your emotions are all over the place. He attacks you when your body is ill. He attacks you when your spirit is waning. Uh, I remember, um, Pastor Tony Evans preached a sermon and he was talking about your uh, soul, body, and spirit or your mind, soul, and body. But he said, you know, between the three that you have, the enemy, if one of them is weak, he tries to attack you because he doesn't want you to continue to be holding, to be strong. And so when you have infirmity in your body, he attacks you. When you're um, having problems with your emotional uh, state, he attacks you. When you're waning in your faith, he attacks you attacks you. And so I'm here to tell you one, that because the enemy is attacking you, it's not because you've done something wrong, but probably because you've done something right. You've decided that no matter what comes and what goes, that you're going to live for the Lord, no matter how uh, messed up you may seem to everybody else, that you still love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, that you're doing the best that you know how. And the enemy is like, you know what, if they really get a good traction going, if they really get some consistency going, if they really get um, deeper and, and understand and more revelation, it's going to be trouble in the camp. So let me cause discord. Let me cause something to go awry. Let me start to sow things in their life to try to uh, have a crop of, um, of, inconsistency or a crop of, of problems or issues. So when they get overwhelmed, they'll default to their former man. But behold, as the Bible says, all things have become new. You are a new creature on today. So one, no, because the devil was attacking you, does that mean that you don't have what God gave you? But also know that the Lord did not leave you just with the part of faith that you have, but he will lift up a standard against the enemy. And then he will build your faith, give you faith to faith and um, give you strength. And that faith have her perfect work in you, right? Because it brings about experience. It brings about hope. It brings about perseverance. It brings about patience. Your faith is having a perfect work in you on this morning. And so believe God. Believe his word. Believe that what God has given you, it belongs to you. You didn't have to be perfect to receive it. You didn't have to be sinlessly perfect to keep it. But what you can do is walk in a level of relationship with him that you can, one, repent to receive forgiveness, three, move 
forward and as my first lady say turn the page turn the page turn the page on on foolishness turn the page on your past your past has not disqualified you because if our past could disqualify us then jesus died for nothing but his blood was shed for us don't forget we just went through Easter Sunday, right? We just went through Pentecost. We just went through all those things. I want you to know that God sent Jesus to down the cross, not for you to be subject to your past or be disqualified, but so that you can be born again, so that you can be redeemed, so that you can have power, so that you can have access to the Father. You don't have to wait for somebody's permission. You don't have to wait for somebody else to qualify you to go to God because he has already made the way, right? He's already laid the foundation. The song we used to sing, he laid the foundation. He opened up the way. What more you want him to do? He's already opened the door. You just have to walk in. And so you have an advocate with the Father on today. You have Jesus Christ, the righteous, interceding for you. You have the ability to go straight to the throne, right? The Bible says, come boldly before the throne and find grace and help in the time of need. Do not allow the enemy to trick you into believing because you're having problems that God is not who he said he is, that he is not able to do what he said he's able to do, that he has taken away his promise from you, but you are to move forward by faith, right? I listened to Pastor Hannah, yes, Hannah on Sunday, and he talked about by faith, right? By faith faith, Abraham, by faith, Sarah, by faith, Moses, by faith, no one. When you read in Hebrews about the hall of faith, that by faith, these people weren't perfect. They messed up. They made bad decisions. They had the consequences of things in their lives, but by faith, they did great things. Lord, we pray so. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and your kindness, your mercy, your grace, your peace. And for your joy, God, we thank you for your long suffer. We thank you for being a present help in the time of trouble. God, we thank you for being our healer, for being our provider. God, we thank you for being our way maker. God, there is none like you. And we appreciate you on today. Now, God, as we go forth through this day, God, lead us in plain paths. Teach us your ways, oh God. Lord, we ask you to strengthen us in our most holy faith. God, strengthen us in our mind. Strengthen us in our spirit. God, strengthen us in our health, oh God. Cover us with your blood and cover us and protect us from the hand of the enemy. God, that we may put on this shield of faith. God, that we may put on the breastplate of righteousness. God, that we will put on our armor that the enemy will not be able to attack us, oh God, that his darts will be quenched, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, let us continue to walk in the things of you that you may be glorified, oh God, that you may be magnified, that you will be lifted high in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to heal in our bodies. God, we ask you to give us strength. We speak life to these bodies in the name of Jesus. We rebuke, oh God, every sickness and infirmity in the name of Jesus. God, we speak left, high life to our bloodline. We speak life to our organs. God, we speak life to our spirit. We speak life to our mind, oh God, that we have sobriety and soundness on today in the name of Jesus, Lord, and we glorify you on this morning. God, we honor you on on this morning. We give you praise on this morning, God, because you are worthy and we thank you for lifting up a standard in our life and how you continue to watch over us and keep us. And we give you glory today, God. We give you honor and praise because it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for coming back. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you for watching the replay, hashtag replay, wherever you find this video. I I do want you to know that you are blessed. I do want you to know that you are highly favored. I do want you to know that you are the apple of your father's eye, that he is absolutely and positively concerned about you. You are the best thing since sliced bread. Yes, you can cast your cares upon him and know that God cares for you and that he loves you with an everlasting love. And there's nothing and there's no thing you can do about it. You all have a wonderful and a blessed day. But we'll not see you all back here tomorrow. Be blessed.